Highway Driving Assist 2, or HDA2, available in the GV70, helps maintain distance from the vehicle ahead, maintain the set speed, and keep the vehicle centered in the lane while driving on a highway or motorway. It uses the front view camera, front radar, front corner radars, and rear corner radars. Press the setup button, then select vehicle, then driver assistance, then driving convenience. Select or unselect the highway driving assist box to activate or deactivate the system. The highway lane change assist function can also be activated in the same menu. To turn HDA2 on, press the driving assist button on the steering wheel while driving on a highway or motorway. The set speed is set to the current driving speed when the system is turned on and you can change the set speed using the plus or minus switch on the steering wheel. Long holds on the plus or minus switch will change the set speed in 10 km per hour increments. You can press the Vehicle Distance button to set the distance to the vehicle ahead by four levels. If you press and hold the Vehicle Distance button, the system will change from Based on Drive Mode to Based on Driving Style that operates the system based on the learned driving style of yours. When entering a highway, HDA2 will be automatically turned on if the Smart Cruise Control and Lane Following Assist functions are already turned on. In this case, a message asking if you would like to enable Highway Lane Change Assist will appear on the instrument cluster, and you can press OK on the steering wheel to confirm. The Highway Lane Change Assist function helps lane change with the operation of the turn signal switch. If you move the turn signal switch to the direction you want to change lane to, the function will attempt to change lane for several seconds while checking for a risk of collision. When the function is ready to operate, the lane change indicator on the instrument cluster will turn green and will blink during a lane change. For safety, you must keep your hands on the steering wheel. The lane change will cancel if the turn signal lever is moved to the opposite direction of the lane change or if the steering wheel is turned sharply. If the vehicle has not departed its current lane yet, moving the turn signal lever to its original position will also cancel the lane change. While HDA2 is operating, your vehicle will start moving again after stopping if the vehicle stopped ahead starts moving again within 30 seconds. After your vehicle has stopped over 30 seconds, the Use Switch or Pedal to Accelerate message will appear on the instrument cluster. Depress the accelerator, press the plus or minus switch, or the pause or resume switch on the steering wheel to start driving. If you take your hands off the steering wheel for several seconds, HDA2 will warn you in two stages and automatically cancel the system. After HDA2 is cancelled, the driving speed will be limited without accelerating. While HDA2 may provide assistance, it is not in control of your vehicle. You are. Always keep in mind that safe driving is your responsibility. Remote Smart Parking Assist, or RSPA, available in the GV70, helps the driver easily park and exit parking spaces. RSPA automatically controls the steering wheel, vehicle speed, and gear shifts, and the driver can operate the system outside the vehicle with the smart key. It uses the front ultrasonic sensors, front corner ultrasonic sensors, rear corner ultrasonic sensors, and rear ultrasonic sensors to detect the surroundings. Smart parking can be used from inside the vehicle, and remote smart parking can be used from outside the vehicle. When using RSPA from inside the vehicle, you can also exit from a parallel parking space using Smart Exit. 
See the video, Remote Smart Parking Assist, Smart Parking, for information on how to use RSPA from inside the vehicle. To activate RSPA, press and hold the Parking View button while stopped or driving at a low speed. To scan a parking space, move forward at below 20 km per hour and remain within between 50 cm and 1.5 m of the other parked vehicles. When the system detects the parking space, a message will appear on the infotainment system display. Stop the vehicle, then select a parking type. To use remote smart parking, shift the gear to park, exit the vehicle with a smart key, and close all doors. Stand in a safe location within 4 meters and press the forward or back button on the smart key to start the parking. Letting go of the forward or back button on the smart key will stop the vehicle and pause the parking. Pressing and holding the forward or back button on the smart key again will resume the parking. When parking is complete, a message will appear on the infotainment system display and the vehicle will go into park, engage the parking brake, and turn off the engine. You can follow the same procedure for perpendicular reverse parking. Remote entry or exit parking allows you to stand outside the vehicle and move it into or out of a tight parking space. To start remote entry or exit parking while the engine is off, press the lock button on your smart key. Then, press the remote start button within 4 seconds. Stand in a safe location within 4 meters and press the forward or back button on the smart key until the vehicle moves to a desired location. Then, if you press the remote start button on the smart key, the message, Parking Assist Completed, will appear on the infotainment system display and the engine will turn off. Remote smart parking will stop if an object is detected in the way. Letting go of the forward or back button, pressing more than one buttons together, or pressing a button other than the remote start button on the smart key will pause the parking. Pressing and holding the forward or back button on the smart key again will resume the parking. If the travel distance moving forward or backward exceeds 7 meters, remote entry or exit parking will pause. If the total travel distance of both directions exceeds 14 meters, the parking will cancel. You can also cancel remote smart parking by pressing the remote start button on the smart key. Reverse Parking Collision Avoidance Assist, or PCA, available in the GV70, is a parking safety system that warns the driver or assists with emergency braking to help reduce the risk of collision with a pedestrian or object while reversing. 
It uses the rear view camera and rear ultrasonic sensors for advanced sensing and braking to prevent collision. PCA works while reversing at a speed below 10 km per hour. To activate or deactivate PCA, press the Setup button. Then select Vehicle, then Driver Assistance, then Parking Safety on the setting menu of the infotainment system. If you select Rear Active Assist, the system will provide a warning and emergency braking when a risk of rear collision is detected while reversing. If you select Rear Warning Only, the system will only provide a warning when a risk of rear collision is detected while reversing. You can also activate or deactivate PCA by pressing and holding the Parking Safety button for more than two seconds. Warning timing can be set to either Standard or Late in the Driver Assistance setting menu. If you feel the setting Standard provides warning in a sensitive manner, change the setting to Late. Even if Reverse Parking Collision Avoidance Assist is activated, it is your responsibility to check the rear while reversing. Also, PCA may not function normally if there is snow, rain, debris, or other materials on the rear view camera and rear ultrasonic sensors. Always keep the rear view camera and rear ultrasonic sensors clean. See Owner's Manual or use the QR code on the Web Manual under the Manual menu of the infotainment system for further details and limitations. Thank you.